Lulu. Come here, Lulu. Come here, Lulu. Benny, I mean Colin. Colin, come here. Come here. Sit. It's okay. Shh. Okay. Lulu, come here. Lulu. Okay, go. Come here, Colin. Lulu. Sit. Lulu, come here, girl. Lulu, come here, girl. Come on, girl. Lulu, come here. This is my crew. This guy's a visitor, but usually when I'm out here doing yoga and meditating, I get you know, you're in a lot of pain a lot of those mornings and stuff and this. They are great interruptions. They come up, they nuzzle. He's jealous right now because this guy's here. So he's a little bit weird, but Lulu will paw at me like now, watch. She's gonna paw at me, probably. Yep, she wants attention. But I'll put my hands on them and I'll just meditate and have a connection and um, just shows, I think, what, what animals can provide you. And I think they definitely realized this last year. I realized that they certainly provide you more than they take from you as far as stress and anxiety or, I mean, just from caring for animals. So it also helps that I don't own them. It's probably like borrowing kids, but uh, I do take care of them and I see now that I could handle a few animals for sure and yeah they've given me a lot of necessary sustenance and love and sweet 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 hugs and everything right okay can you stop straddling me just lean on Ben he's just gonna sit there so trying to soak up this last day of vitamin D not forever but we have some storm fronts coming in and I won't be out here doing yoga shirtless and the Sun for a bit so I'm trying to get as much as I can naturally right now all right he's just not letting go there you go go ahead buddy good boy